What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional, and yes, we staying lit, big dog. Hey, shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my player partner, Lucky Wizard Deals. He keeps it lit. Man, make sure y'all check out HiveMindLabs.com. The link is below in the description. And make sure y'all check out Custom Underscore Freaks to get you a custom tumbler. One day I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this in the video, but right now it's for promotional purposes. But we trying to get that bag, okay? Now, let's get into it, man. We got your boy Charleston White on the screen, man. Charleston White speaks out about his altercation that happened. Okay, but before we talk about the altercation, let's go into detail with the story. We got this clip here live from Instagram. Talk right. I already got the back here. Talk right. I already got the back here. I don't give a damn about getting booed, nigga. I don't know if you got paid. You paid to see me, nigga. You paid to see me. Lakers trying to get Kobe Bryant. You paid to see me. Shit online, yeah. I feel you on that real shit, but nigga, when you come for me and my mind, you get your ass whooped. What he tell you? Yeah. What he tell you to make you whoop? Hey, nigga, what the fuck, nigga, my uncle got up, so you know when my uncle hopped on stage. You already know what the fuck going down, nigga. Okay. Hey, nigga, blood thinner than hey, blood thicker than water, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that fool was drunk, but anyway, that's what happened. Now let's hear Charleston White. Talk about the situation. I, uh, uh, if I had to re over and do it again, I would have hit that bitch with the flower pot just to go even more viral. <laughs> I think that, that would have made more for a viral sensation had I hit the bitch with the flower pot, God hit damn. the nigga with the microphone, <laughs> and then catch nephew with the chill as he coming across. That's oh, the shit. ideal situation in my mind. Straight straight Mario Kart, nigga. Yeah, yeah, because they, they, they all three was together. Yeah. Shit. And did, and did none of them check each other. Man, chill. You need man, just listen. Three bro. combo pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the nigga should have got the bitch should have got the flower pot. The nigga should have got the microphone, and, and nephew Odom should have got the chair. That motherfucking pig poke. I was just standing up there, that goddamn pig poke with that mama. Said, nigga, what's up, nigga? That pig poke intimidating by itself. That's a motherfucker. But boy, that motherfucking bar spray. <laughs> <laughs> that's a reach. Boy, that motherfucking bar spray. Cause normally y'all done seen the show. Normally I sit it right there, sit it right there. Have the ninja stars right there. Uh, so normally I have that shit. And in the beginning, I strategically was using those props for that situation. God damn. That's why I, that's why I would start out with all those weapons. Damn. For one, it was an intimidating psychological factor that it, it would use. So I was using it psychological intimidation. Uh, Works. On top of just in case I have to use these, I got them on standby. But the more I started getting into the gift of comedy and trying to understand stand-up comedy, I removed those crutches as well as I remove that thought of self-defense on stage. Uh, I, I, when, when, when my life is in danger, no one else's safety is my concern. I hear you. <laughs> when my life you. is in danger, because for one, my life shouldn't be in danger, and no one else is. And some nigga- Everybody focus on COVID. Everybody. Crime. But some nigga come out of left field. Lamar Odom. Do you see this? Yeah, Lamar Odom. Do you see Lamar coming out of left field? Uh-uh. I only got-, I only got yeah, Are you focused on Kobe? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Because, because, because Kobe, is the threat that's proceeding toward me. He's the initial threat. Lamar Odom done went to the side. He coming, he coming down the baseline. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, he coming from the baseline. Uh, as he's running toward us, uh, it looked like he running at Dewberry. It looked like he running toward Dewberry, and he run past Dewberry and hit me. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the quarterback, goddamn he gonna throw that ball. Yeah, it, it don't, the blind side. Oh! The blind side. We don't even know. That, that would happen. Blind that, side. That would happen. And boy, and boy, let me just say this. It seemed like it took forever to hit that ground. Wow. 
Oh, shit. Boy, it seemed like me and that nigga fell off a cliff and we were just falling and falling and falling. And the force seemed like, and boy, all I could think about is, boy, what you gonna do when you hit that ground? Then the money came out. And I stopped thinking about what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh. Shit. So, uh, yeah, when I hit that ground, home, I had to get, I had to, I had to immediately figure out a way uh, to not stay there. Because I gotta keep, I gotta find that money. So wait, wait, wait. Was the money in your hand or was it in it your pocket? Yeah, if I fumbled the ball. Oh shit. And, and then it, 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 was, it, was, it was behind a line of scrimmage and I had to came through with the forward pass so it was considered a fumble. Oh, uh, yeah, nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was discombobulated when I came up off the floor, but somehow, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I ain't have my sense of direction. You don't know which way is north, south, east, or west. I just know to look for that money. Uh, and that nigga was choking me. And I want to start hollering, do better get this nigga off me. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't. I couldn't say nothing. Uh, so yeah, homie, uh, that shit happening so fast, uh, nigga just trying not to panic. But he wasn't doing nothing. That. He just holding on to me. Oh, like, like somebody else grab him. Somebody else get him. He just holding on. Shit. He's, you know, you know how the big niggas do try to choke you out when they can't fight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just you're, trying to choke. You're me. wrestling it. But, but, and, and it feel like he choking me because I got my chin chucked and he pulling hard. He, he pulling hard. So he feel like he choking me. And to Dewberry hit him in the mouth. Oh yeah, oh shit, yeah, we heard her. Yeah, yeah. To Dewberry split in my mouth. Well, that's how. That's how he let me go. So that, I got up immediately, homie. When I fell on the ground, I got. I actually fell on top of him. That's how I got up before, almost before he did. That's what big dude said. Y'all was a little, a little roll around. Yeah. Happened. See, I fell on top of him, homie. So if you go look at that steel footed, I fell on top. I was on top. I immediately got up, and he trying to grab my head, trying to pull. He grabbed. So he got me from that way at this angle. Holding my head. Give a damn about that chain, okay, nigga. That's what okay. I put insurance on it for. I want that money. Ain't no insurance on that money. Yeah, ain't no insurance on that cash, on that cash money, goddamn. Nigga, nigga didn't believe yeah, in Zell, yeah. nigga? What the fuck? Yeah, ain't no, ain't no, no insurance. Oh, uh, uh, homie, when you doing back end money, nigga, ain't no Zell, nigga, when they went. went uh, see, see, here, see, here's the thing about back end. Homie, when you doing real big events with these kind of promoters, Nigga, most of the money they finna pay you from the back end is the dough money. That's facts. Not the online money, it's the dough money, the VIP money, the 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 the, the bar money. So nigga, you gonna have five. They gonna try not to give you the one, fives, and tens. They gonna try not to, but shit, nigga, you gonna have a you gonna have a you gonna have a bankroll. Uh, your front end might be a check. Your front end might be Zell. Uh. But nigga, why you, that's why you be seeing them rappers coming from them shows and back in, they got $100,000, $70,000. That's sometimes how you gotta take it. Uh, only two people came on stage to fight was Lakers jerseys. The other people you seen, uh, nobody else was throwing punches because everybody was attacking Lakers jerseys. So I wasn't getting attacked. The Lakers jerseys then was being attacked. And they wasn't being attacked. They was being restrained and contained. Okay. So. Uh, once I got tackled, homie, nobody threw a, uh, nobody threw a punch. What y'all seen Kobe Bryant was doing was trying to get in. We see some, yeah, we it, see the elbows it, flying. It, it looked like he was doing this. Yeah, you, that is easy shit. But homie, he wasn't even nowhere in arm reach or reaching nobody. I'm showing out, they showing out. Yeah. We all putting on for the camera. God damn. Except the people from Crockett. The people from Crockett are the ones that bum rushing the stage to try to stop this shit. And those are the people in the white shirt. Well, there you have it, man. That's the true story. Charleston White, unscathed. He did get tackled like a, a quarterback sacker, okay, by the linebacker, but nothing else happened. So, you know, it was all for nothing. But here's some other fair news. Uh, Charleston, this just happened this weekend. And Charlene's interview happened like a week ago. We still ain't seen that one yet, so whatever. I guess we ain't gonna get it. But everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think about this whole little uh, ordeal. Um, if you will be going to a Charleston White show, if you would feel triggered by the things Charleston White would say, would you still go if you couldn't handle what he has to say? Let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna holler at you later. Peace.